Here at Emmanuel Faith, I am the Director of Biblical Counseling Ministries, and with that, I get to do a lot of counseling, and I get to oversee our recovery ministry called Set Free. When I was five years old, my oldest sister invited me to daily vacation Bible school at Emmanuel Faith over on the old campus. And I remember two things about that time. Um, we were divided up into teams of coyotes and roadrunners. Um, but secondly, and most importantly, I asked Jesus to be my savior when I was at the Bible school. I started there. I didn't start attending after that. Actually, when I was 13, my good friend Nancy Dilworth Lane invited me back to Emmanuel Faith and uh, I got involved in the junior high group and I was hooked. I've been here ever since. This has been my church since then. The strong biblical teaching and caring about people was a tremendous influence in me um, uh, moving into a career of doing biblical counseling. And so when I was brought on staff here uh, about eight years ago, it was my job to get a Christ-centered recovery ministry up and going. So uh, in 2006, uh, Set Free began. Um, Set Free is um, obviously a recovery ministry, and, and a lot of people think that it's just for people dealing with drugs and alcohol, but it's not. I first got involved with Set Free. I heard about Pastor Chip talk about it in May of 2009. And right within a couple of weeks, I had a life-changing experience, and I was able to break away from an old habit that I had picked up uh, prior to adolescence. Um, it's for people, men dealing with uh, sexual addiction and anger. Uh, women's codependency is a huge group that we have in Set Free and, and obviously the chemical dependency. So the Set Free curriculum was actually created here at Emmanuel Faith and, and the thing that I appreciate most about it is it uses God's truth to demolish Satan's lies. I think the big difference is that it's biblically structured in things that are spread out throughout the New Testament, but it's solidified in a way that gets you the level of um, focus that you need to be able to break the old habits that you had on your own, because when you try to do it on your own, you can't. You need the setting of the church and the elders and a group of individuals that have a si similar uh, level of dysfunction, you know, being dysfunctional. And so that's where you get the liberty is because in the group setting, um, there's a lot more power in it. The Lord honors it. The groups are, are very caring and very um, loving and supportive. Uh, they're confidential, so they find a place where they can open up, maybe in ways that they've never done before. And, and what they find is um, when they allow God into those deepest, darkest corners of their hearts and minds, uh, they find that God's love, um, His grace and His mercy, His power, His truth and His forgiveness are there for them and help them heal the deepest wounds and uh, set them free from, from just the, the bondage of uh, sin and shame. It's amazing. I mean, I have been here obviously since junior high and, and I have seen the same kind of thing. You know, biblical teaching, care about people, invest in people's lives, watch what God does, and, and it, it continues. And to be a part of it, uh, to be here, to, uh, to work here is just, um, it's a great, great blessing.